Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our entry level 2 Megabase, where we in the last episode just got our blue science or uh, chemical science up and running. In today's episode, I want to get our production science packs up and running, and I just spent a few seconds researching that in between episodes, so we don't have to wait for it this episode. So, um, if you want to see more, do remember to like the video. And if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. It helps me out and it will let me know that you want me to continue this series. So um, let's get on with today's episode. So um, today's episode will pretty much be the one where we'll have the most science of most math so far in terms of uh, how we should build it. Because if we look at our production science, it is a bit more complicated than the other two, or three we've made so far, because it requires a lot of rails, electric furnaces, and production modules. If you look at the production modules, they require advanced circuits and green circuits. Those we can easily take from the bus, so no issues there. If you look at the ratios between them, in 21 seconds, Firstly, in, 20, in 21 seconds, it produces three science packs per minute. That means that to produce one per second, we'll need seven. It means we need seven production modules um, every 20 or every 21 seconds, pretty much. This produces one every 15. So in theory, it's a five production modules to seven, what's it called, chemical science. Or production science but what i want to do instead is just do a one-to-one -one, the same way we did over here to make it a bit prettier and uh, and work the way we want it then if you look at the electric furnaces requires what is called um, two, what's called two every seven or seven every seven seconds something like that and if you look here at how fast they're crafting they make one every five seconds. If we require seven, we'll then just need two of these to uh, to produce enough. Though they require a ton of input because in 21 seconds we'll produce four something and we'll require seven. So um, that means two of these will be enough. So right now we have seven of these production science uh, assemblers we'll have seven product productivity modules assemblers and we'll have two electric furnaces. Then we need to look at the rails. The rails require 30 every 21 seconds times that by seven. That means we require 210 every 21 seconds. If you look at this one, yeah, rails, they produce four every second. That means to produce 84 every 21 seconds. So we'll need about two and a half to get to 210. So we'll do about three of these. So now we have how many we need for each of them. That means I'll start to line it up the way I want it to look. So firstly, let's get it on the same belt since you're right next to it here. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And don't worry if you didn't get all the math there. I didn't get all of it myself. <laughs> it is a lot of numbers and a lot of things uh, going on. So uh, these seven will be here. Then we need to input our modules into that one. And uh, since I want to go with the same amount, we'll do direct insertion. That means we'll jump one over here, do seven down. Say, I want to do productivity modules here then do a direct insertion for that because that gives us a basic uh, setup just like this then the next thing we need let's just clear out these trees is to input our electric furnaces we only need what's it called the about two of these producing non-stop so uh, it does require that much of room on a belt to be honest, if you look at these, they require one every 21. 
that's uh, what's that gonna be? Seven per second. Oh, they can't be right. But seven per twenty-one seconds. So that's uh, almost nothing. So um, if you look at these two, firstly, inputs. One line going here will be a mix of red and green circuits. Then we'll need the inputs for electric furnaces as well. That requires red circuits, stone and brick. So we can do a brick and steel line. And then we need to look at the rails as well. They'll require steel, iron sticks and stone. And since iron sticks is just made of iron, that'll just require one belt as well of mixed between stone and steel. Stone and iron, that is. It'll be easier to visualize when we have it built. So that'll give us our three lanes in. Then over here we want an output. Firstly, we'll want two. Actually move it down a bit. And we'll want... Um, Somewhere down here, we'll want our. Let's see, our electric furnaces, the two we calculated that we needed. Those will go on a belt. We can easily go it down this way and above, but uh, for this little test, I want to go this way. So we'll have it going this way and down, since I'm not planning on expanding this anymore before we get into trains. And then you will go into a little setup that starts here to go to here. To make it easy to use. Then you'll just jump from about here to here. So that will give us our rails in, it'll give us our um, furnaces in. That is these two sorted. They'll grab everything they need with long hand inserters and such and fill into this one. Then we need the rails. And the rails is a bit of a funny business. So um, as we saw, we'll need 84 every 21 seconds. So that's about three something per second. So um, that just means we'll have to, uh, to look, hook it up. Let's look at this. If we do one, three, four, five, something like this, we'll then do the rails. Requires one iron stick every half a second. We'll go in here, take iron sticks, produces two every, or four every second. Requires two every second. Then we do a rail, then we do another one of those. And we can do another rail. Because that way we'll do enough out to supply this. We actually do enough to supply four. So this will, um, will enable us to get everything we need for the setup. Hopefully you guys are still following along. I am trying to keep a hang of all the math in my head right now. And as most people know, don't explain too many things on YouTube. Or at least math on YouTube. So uh, now for the interesting part. Now we need to hook all of this up and see if we can get it to work. Firstly, input here. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. That will be our red and green. So uh, let's go down and get ourselves a little belt. I'll just go and grab um, some red belts. They are not overly needed, but uh, just to make sure we have enough flowing in, let's just uh, grab some. So let's grab you on the ground and some splitters. I think that'll be mighty fine. So now that we have the blueprint down and the inputs we need, let's uh, start hooking up things. So mixing green and red, let's start there. Ready to match this belt? Going in right here. Let's do it on a red one. We'll be able to consume one full yellow belt then. This way. Mixing them in right here. So 
what we can do is do our new kind of splitter. Having it right here. Jumping you across. And uh, let's move it back one. Actually there instead. Do something like this. Get some green in. And you'll go up this way and into that one. Let's jump you a bit further to about here, making room for um, the red circuit as well, without taking up any spots up here. So red circuits, let's blow up the trees. Make some room. And let's get the red in. The red can split off the same way we did here, or we can do the other build. So doing something like who we'll starts here instead. You'll go in. You'll jump a few. Here's actually enough that it jumps one if you want to. And have you go up this way. Only reason we need to jump it more here because of the second input. Then we can take you and jump you to about there and drag you in. So that'll be a red and green circuits flowing up this way. Do we need to give it a red belt right here to make sure we actually use the red ones flowing from below into our setup. Then the next thing we need is um, to get maybe steel and stone in. Stone bricks is right next to the steel, so you should be able to mix them relatively easy. Let's get you all the way to the end, please. Very nice. And those two needs to go in right here. That means we'll probably be easier just to jump this to there to give ourselves a bit of room. And what we can do is, uh, is get it in on this side since the there's a bit more room here compared to what we're trying to do over here. So why don't we try and split it out that way? And the way we saw to split two together, we did try it out before. We can do, let's see if we take the one below. We are able to do something like this if we want to. And uh, how will this look? Is that where we can jump you to? We just jump a bit ahead. You can jump ahead as well. And these two can merge together and continue up. I think that'll be fine. Let's just check that everything actually moves along as needed. We'll do something like that to continue. Ugh, very, very awkward this uh, split off. But we're trying to get three lines in next to each other. Not the easiest thing to do when you have to mix the belts. So if you take one up that way. Will that be the easiest way to do it? I think it will be. So let's do something like that. You can go in that way. Giving us a mixed belt. Since this is temporary, I'm not too worried about the way we're building this at the moment. You can jump all the way to here, and we can let this one go in this way. Oh, there we are. Getting that hooked up, getting green circuits in, getting a full belt of red. That's all we need for, um, for all of these. Let's see if they that line up nicely with this one. One, two, three. That can go from one of them to the other one goes, so that's fine. Then we just need the iron and the stone on the last one. Here is the stone. We can split that off somewhere here below together with the iron. And can we fit it in? 
at an easy place. Luckily, we have a bit of room here. Makes things a bit easier. So let's do this. Splits. You will go up that way. Split the back one further. You can jump across. You can go up this way. To about here and go in. Then the other one will just kind of mix in right here. I think that's enough room to do it. Let's give that a try. And the stone will go up right here. So you'll jump. To about here. Now the things are in. Let's get you correctly as well there. And get you up. That should be all the inputs we need for our setup. A bit messy getting it off, but um, it doesn't really matter since it's a, it's a one type deal. And then we will leave it before we get to the mega base stage. So here we are. Now we just need to hook up everything and see if it works. Firstly, outputs. You two will go on the outside or pretty much you'll end up on the inside just a second output 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 to get things on the inside you just kind of do something like that so now these two will go on the inside instead and then all of the rails go on the outside in between these we will do something like that moving uh, things back and forth giving us all the inputs we need for that as well Then we need to hook up this one. Firstly requires, oh, I placed, it. wait, you can take it from, I need to move this up a bit. Did I make an oopsie? But let's do this. We'll just kind of move this up just a smidge. Take all of you. Can we just get you up here instead? That'll be easier for us to manage in terms of further blueprints. There we are. Taking only a few seconds to move. There, there, and there. So now we can grab what we need. A bit easier. Good. So let's see. Firstly, we'll need a long hand of one. Those two will uh, wrap them over here. But the easiest way to do that is, um, is just jump these two here in the middle. That's not really needed for, um, for these since it's um, stone and such. So if you just jump you from here, you can go that far, do that. And in the two long handed, grab the red circuits. And the two more right here, that will grab the steel and the stone brick. So that means this will get everything it needs. Then up here, you require stone and steel. Stone and steel, that means you'll do you, 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 and then a long headed. Grab there, there, and there. Then the middle here, I'd like to get you to grab some iron. So that means now this will get all the needs it will output to this side. This one will need an output as well. There, there. And turn it in. Just like that. That means now we have um, furnaces and rails going up this way and down into this one. And in here we'll need you to grab inputs. So now we have rails, furnaces and modules going into these. 
We'll then output that on this side. Let's just get normal ones to not waste the resources. At least not too many. And then we have a very, very nice setup for um, our purple signs. And it should work. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's always it's always strange doing this build and the next one. Because it is it is a bit complex and have quite a few items that I don't want on the main bus. So time to hook it up. Hopefully we can hook it up in some good way. It's gonna power all there. Then you can power that. That and that. Let's see. Power. 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 Then in here we can actually power just right here. Voila. Hopefully this will work. It is the moment of truth. Ooh, hopefully the inserters are fast enough, otherwise we'll have to add in a few more. Seems to be the case. Let's just do that. That. At least until we get the upgrades for it. There we are. That works very nicely. We have things flowing around. We have our first production signs or purple signs being produced. Um, as you can see, it's somewhat compact and it works. And that is uh, the most important thing. So um, do you comment what you think about this setup? Is there anything you want to see improved on it? It's always something I would like to, uh, to have a look at. And this will give us a bit of a buffer. Because now that we start to get into this science, one thing I very much want to try and do is start to use uh, productivity modules in the labs to save on resources. It is one of the best ways to do it. And um, you should just do it as soon as possible. So these will slowly back up. And um, then in between episodes, I'll probably go and fill these up with the... Uh, with productivity modules, so you don't have to watch me do that. Or we'll do it first thing next episode. Something like that. So, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, next episode, we'll probably move into maybe getting into advanced oil production because we do want to get what's called our construction robots up and running soon since it'll make building a lot easier. And that requires uh, electric engines, which require lubricants. So that might be a cool thing to do next episode while this slowly builds up. So um, thank you so much for, for watching, guys. Do remember to like the video if you think it deserves it. And if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. And with that, I've been Degray, and I'll see you next episode. Bye, guys.